welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today, we're taking a look at the clone stamp. Clone stamp's a rather clever tool that can get rid of items or add items in. And uh, you can see in our before picture that we have this unfortunate placement of a twig that happens to be right in front of this bird. And then in the after picture, you can see that that has been removed. Now, uh, the cool thing about the clone stamp is it uses information that's in the picture already and then duplicates it to another location. So for instance, once I've selected the clone stamp, which looks like this in our toolbar, I can target an area. I'm going to hold Alt or Option, and you can see the target pops up. I'm going to click once just to target here, and now I'm going to let go of Alt, and I'm going to come over the twig, and you can see with the brush and the plus sign that it's actually following along there. Now, I've got to be careful because as I drag, the, the target drags along with it. So it's good to frequently retarget what you're copying. So right here, we're getting into a, a darker part of the wing. I'm going to retarget. Then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to copy that information in. Okay. Now we're over into this area off of the wing. And I'm going to just bring that over right to the front of the bird. And this is where it might be handy to zoom in a little bit, Command Plus. And I'm going to use my left and right brackets to kind of size down my brush so I can be more detailed. And again, I target, and I come in here, and I can clean that up. You can see very quickly in a short amount of time, I've been pretty successful with removing the twig. I can still see a little remnant here, so target there, and blend that in. Not bad. So um, that's a quick run through with removing something. Um, here's another example of removing something. Let's hop over to this mountain pass video. And we take a look at this. Same thing, we would have this really picturesque uh, view. Um, of course, we've got all these roads kind of cutting through here. And you might say that's part of the appeal, or maybe you want it on natural, whatever it may be. I can come in here, and with my clone stamp selected again, okay, I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to bring my brush size up a little bit. So I'm using my right and left brackets here to increase and decrease brush size. Alt will actually copy or target an area. And now I can come in and I can very quickly start painting on that hillside right over the road there. Okay, And very quickly I've removed a large segment of that road right out of there. Okay, so if this is a fantasy movie and we wanted to get rid of all of the modern technology that's in here, this might be how we go about doing this is it for a still frame. In this next example, we have this lonely tree, which is literally what my search was on Google for this, and it's all by itself. Um, let's say we wanted to duplicate this and add this in in more places here. Um, same exact premise. I'm going to target first. So let's go ahead and get zoomed in here. I'm going to start at the base of the tree. And I'm going to use Alt and then click once, let go. And now I can start painting that tree and everything that's around it into a new location here. Okay, So very quickly, I can go about this. Now, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to up the brush size a little bit and paint that in there. Now this works really well in this particular situation because the sky is very similar all the way across the picture. Okay, So I can paint this in without really messing up too much of anything here. And we just keep adding that in there. Okay, And get the whole thing. And let's get a larger brush size. Just kind of wrap this up a little bit quicker. And you get the idea. Now, I did start recopying the image a second time here because my target overlapped over here and it started grabbing the second tree that I've been painting already. So that's one thing that you want to be careful of. If you do that, just go Command-Z and then Command-Option-Z. And then we can go ahead and start that process again and make sure that we're all good there. Okay. So in, a sense, in essence, I've added in this brand new tree here. So I can go ahead, I can target again, and then we can paint in. It's nice because I get a little preview here so I can line up the ground exactly right. Put this one a little bit further away. And then I'm come over here, start painting this tree in. And come along the edges carefully. And now it is no longer a lonely tree. So you can see how this would be pretty handy 
for adding in multiple images, uh, duplicating or cloning things, uh, whatever it may be. With this concept, a lot of possibilities with Photoshop here. Um, this is uh, The Clone Stand and another episode of Red Hawk Media. Thanks for joining us. Bye.